coverage of the German Open from Mulheim. Two matches still to go. And next up, we've got a men's double semi-final featuring Takuto Inui and Yuki Kaneko of Japan against Govi Sham, Tanwi Kyung of Malaysia. Here's the men's doubles draw. You can see on the other side of it, Alfian and Ardiento are through to the final, 22-20, 22-20, against Arsan and Setawan. And the right to meet them, we'll see in the next hour or so. Takuto Inui and Yuki Kaneko seeded six. Gobi Sham, Tanwi Kyong unseeded, but wouldn't take too much notice of that there. Silver medalist from the Rio Olympics. Here come the players. Umpire and service charge on court. One apiece between these two previously. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, these players are from Japan. Takuro Yui and Yuki Kaneko. 23 now. This doubles pairing ranked nine is the highest they've been. And their first senior title way back in 2013. That was uh, Romanian international. And actually, Inui there won in singles and doubles. Men's doubles silver at the World Juniors as well. Runner up in Japan with Kaneko last year. They've won one Grand Prix event, that was the US Open in Anaheim last year. They have, though, been beaten in four other finals. And they've come through very comfortably so far, as you can see, without dropping a single game. And about half an hour for each of those matches. Kobe Shem, 28. And these two really came to prominence with their outstanding displays as a pair in the Thomas Cup four years ago. Of course, that's coming round again soon in Thailand. They won gold in the Commonwealth Games the same year. Silver in Rio. Both 28. They were actually unseeded when they won that Commonwealth Games medal. And they won the Malaysian Masters in January. We were extended in the first round, as you can see. Since then, fairly comfortable. They had a retirement against the two Danes in the uh, quarterfinals, which was a pity. It was an eagerly anticipated match, that one.
So here we go then, mixed up men's doubles semi-final. Hard to know who you would make favourites here. Inui and Kaneko are the seeded pair. And I gave you some of the highlights on Govi Shem and Tanwi Kyong's CV. Five foot four Renui, but he's a real craftsman on court. That was the commentator's curse, wasn't it? but he gets a phenomenal amount of power and he gets so high off the ground as well with those jump smashes Well, looking very sharp, both of them. Yuki Kaneko that time. Who stepped in for the kill. Experimental service law. The whole of the shuttle has to be below 1.15 meters from the surface of the court. Seven, three. I think we've had three all day though on this show court. This is the fifth match. Eight, well, they sprinted into a Nice little early lead, the Japanese pair here. Well, he went for deception there. Kaneko oh. ended up deceiving himself, I think.
The glide service judge catches it. Another service that was too high. So a healthy lead at the interval for Takuto and Kaneko, 11 points to six. So can they build on this lead? Takucho and Kaneko played really well so far. A few errors from the Malaysians, however. Bit of good fortune for Ten Week Young there. Whoa. Yeah, well played. Going to an unguarded area of the court. So they're just trading points at the moment. Alternate points since they emerged after the interval. Good awareness again. This time from Kaneko. We're not used to seeing the Olympic silver medalists making so many unforced errors. Japanese pair taking full advantage, though.
missed it. Pity because it had been a, a faultless rally from their point of view till that point. But still a healthy lead. Nothing's really gone right for Shem, Gobi Shem and uh, Kyong. This game. If you're wondering, by the way, about the V in Gobi Shem, stands for victory, changed his name. Got to be confident to do that, aren't you? Drop well in. 13, it's, a, it's long. They're going to appeal it. It will go to Hawkeye. Important this. 17 14. Still got a chance. 18 13. I'm going to say they'd be big favourites. Let's have a look what Hawkeye says. Called out. It was well out. Second time he's done that. <laughs> Must have trodden in something. <laughs> That's very clever. That's Govi Shem at his best at the net. Really good. You can see they're both back on the heels, expecting that to go long. Dropped it in beautifully. Can't build on it, though. And the Japanese pair just a couple away now, a couple of points away from taking down this first game. work in the back of the court from Tenwi Kyung. So four game points. Well, it was a clever return, and in just just uh, one more point required. Starting to get a little bit nervous. Three point lead, B. Overly comfortable. Uh, they have got the job done though. 21-17 in just 14 minutes of play. And the number six seeds in charge against the Olympic silver medalists.
Good judgment from Kaneko. Well, it was stoic defence, and he knew he just couldn't sneak that over the net. One, four. Two, one. In a fascinating match from the point of view, not too many long rallies, but much to admire, particularly from Inui and Kaneko. Oh. Bit of a gift there. Power again from Anui. Three, four. Absolutely no respecters of reputation. These two Japanese players. Gets to pair with such a impressive CV. This judgment of the Anui serve. It's a great angle that Anui found and a top class smash from Kaneko. Just not used to seeing those kind of mistakes from Govi Shemp. It's normally such a good smasher of the shuttle. These two know they have to take advantage because I don't know how long this dip in form might last. 8 4. Oh. Anticipated where that Inui serve was going. Now, can they string a run of points together, the Malaysians? Not yet.
Read the serve again. I don't know if he was slightly off put by the uh, umpire giving him the hurry up, but that's quite within his rights to do that. That's a mistake, though, and 11 6 at the interval. Rare mistake from Anui. Well, they know it's now or never. The Malaysians here got to fight back in the second half of this second game, but that's wayward again. More like what we're used to seeing. Bit of good fortune for the Japanese that time. Just the comeback start here. It's a bit more businesslike from Shem in particular. A few errors creep into the Japanese pairs game like that. They may not need a second invitation to get back into this. Just three points behind now. Oh dear. Just takes. Some of the pressure right off the Japanese if they were starting to feel it. It's a couple of times that serve's been picked off like that. At the net, good anticipation from Kyung. And now the second game very much alive, and very much in the balance. It's going to go wide. They're starting to feel the pressure a bit, maybe. Three points in a row for the Malaysian pair.
And now they're on terms. And now they're favourites in this second game with the momentum. Easiest put away he'll have all night. going to attack the Inui serve again. Oh. I think he was so unnerved that he made the error. Oh. This goes later. Surprising miss. Now, there's pressure on the Inui serve, also on the Kaneko serve. The last couple of times they've been very aggressive with this, trying to win the point early. So powerful from the back of the court from Kyung. Uh, from Gobi Shaw, I beg your pardon. Well, that was good anticipation from Inui. Now, big pressure on the Inui serve here, especially an 18 all. And now two game points to level the match for the Malaysians. Twenty one eighteen. It looks unlikely at one stage, but the Malaysians back on terms to force a decider.
This might be a case of who has the mental fortitude in this deciding game. You've got to think psychologically. Shemin Kiong would have the edge, having come back from the game down. Hawkeye challenge coming here. Not close, really. Bizarre call, but um, a fairly obvious challenge. So, two love. You know, Kuritz a performance so far from Shem and Keong. A lot of errors. Some inspired play, particularly towards the end of that second game. On the line. Didn't have to be quite as accurate as this, but flush on the sideline. Now, is this where the Malaysians take control? Service judge says that's above 1.15 meters. Doesn't miss many of those. Shem again with an error. Four, five. moment those longer rallies being won by the Malaysian pair must have sapped at the confidence of Inui and Kaneko I think had a been in a decent position in that second game not being able to see it through knowing the quality of the two players on the other side of the net Five, 
Tan Wee Kiong coming to the party. Even with the net cord, didn't stop the uh, Japanese player winning the point. Six, seven. So nothing to choose between them. To return. Red to serve. Eight, seven. Just when you think this match is swinging one way, Eight, oh. then decides it might want to swing the other. Good work again from the back of the court by Kaneko. Second wind here for the Japanese pair. A chance to go in with a three point lead at the interval. Still wide open though. Well, he's going to. Challenge this. I, I have to say, I thought that was uh, a fault. Let's see what Hawkeye has to say. I thought it was wide. It was a late decision to leave it. Big moment this. 11 8 would be and the advantage for the Japanese. Here it is. Just out. 11 8 it is. Yeah. 
So can Inui and Kanako take advantage of this lead midway through the deciding game? Wouldn't take anything for granted the way this match has panned out so far. As Inui makes an unforced error, apologises to his partner. long Seem to be serving better, particularly in Nui, not getting picked off with the same kind of regularity he was earlier in the match. Well, it was a gamble, uh, and then we played that shot, left the court unguarded. Giong couldn't take advantage, put it wide. Anywhere would have done. Look at the gaping gap. I think it is 15-10, Japanese pair's favourite. Illegal serve, though. It's huge, you suspect. Yeah. Anui into the net again. Good leave. Brave decision that, proved the correct one. Craft by Shen Pyong. Isolating the opponents one side of the court. Shuttle goes the other. Now I'm going to challenge that, and I think that is worth a challenge, you know. I think this is close. And we have had some very close calls in this match. Let's check Hawkeye. No, that one wasn't close.
course, the error again from the Malaysians. They're kind of inching towards the line. Inui and Kaneko rather than charging towards it, but that'll do from their point of view. from Kaneko as that shuttle drifted long. And that excellent smash from Anui brings up four match points. in mouth time there. That was almost cruel from Nui and Kaneko's point of view, a net cord there. It uh, drops from the other side. They win the match. Now, got to sweat it out. Two remaining, two gone. Sometimes you... See a net cord like that, you think, mm, someone's got it in for us. And they put those kind of thoughts to the back of their minds now. That's in. A bad misjudgment. One nineteen in the third game, the Olympic silver medalists are out. It's a terrific win for the two Japanese. We did it the hard way. Just over 50 minutes on court. One match to come in a couple of moments.